So why did I write this book? Initially, I had no intentions of writing a self-help book for women about finding love. I am not one of those girls that was waiting around to be rescued and, and thought that marriage was her perfect ending. But I have to admit, this is my third book, and each book that I wrote was based on my own personal need and something I was going through. My first book, Under the Cherry Moon, I wrote after losing my father unexpectedly. My father was an absentee father, and he died unexpectedly from a drug overdose. I had no idea what to do with that pain, so I put all that pain into writing this book. It was cathartic, it helped me, and I believe it helped others dealing with you know, growing up without their fathers as well. Years later, I wrote How to Win When Shit Happens because like the rest of the country, I was nervous about the pandemic and I worked with so many successful people as an entertainment publicist. And I knew if I could take some of what I saw them have and give it to myself and by writing the book, give that to others, I knew it could resonate and it did. And still years later, I was living what I call my best life. I had a beautiful home, my children were doing amazing, my career was in a great place, and yet I was horribly unbalanced. I was telling myself that as long as I created the life that I wanted, I didn't need anything that wasn't happening. I told myself the dating pool had pee in it. <laughs> I'm sure you've probably heard that before, but the truth was I had no balance and I was just doing everything I could to climb, climb, climb with really no perspective about where I was going. I needed rest, I needed perspective, I needed love. I ended up going on Iyala Van Zandt's show, Fix My Life, and trust me, I did not get what I expected. I expected to hear her say that yes, the dating pool was infected, and I was right. But instead, she pointed out that my alpha female was created by a lot of fear and the, uh, the need to control. And in order for me to be able to get what I needed out of life and find that balance and be able to receive love, I needed to let go of that. And so I did. And the result of that was I learned how to love myself unconditionally, regardless of what accomplishments I had in life at the time. And it opened the door for someone to love me. So just like before, I decided I needed to be able to share that with my sisters. This book really is about embracing and celebrating the woman that you are, but showing you that woman can have it all. She can get to the next level, but she's got to make some changes. If you're ready to make those changes, I invite you to visit DearAlphaFemale.com. Get your copy of the book, Dear Alpha Female. It's not him, it's you, but also spend time in the community. This entire site is for overachieving, hardworking, ambitious women who are amazing leaders, but need a little balance. We welcome you to join our tribe. We'll see you at DearAlphaFemale.com.